Week two, we'll get underway with the Chuckanelli Maiden Chase. Uh, it's not we got forgotten next for Martin Leedham. Ireland have plenty for Paul Rhodes, Mujahad Isaacs for Derek Hinton, Opulence Leon Van Rensburg, Stitch in Time, Graham Kitterbock, The Greatest Knight, Derek Hinton, Tiger Moth, Paul Rhodes, To Dare Is To Do, Joshua Sutherland, Varsity Lord, Jim Murray, Consuelo Skirt for David Robertson, Dream of Glory, David Hooley, Fight the Power, Craig Beckwith, and Game Venture for Darren Thompson. 13 runners then. Two runners permitted from this week, even in the Maidens, I do believe. And we're ready to go, and off we go. And down towards the first in the rather well, inclement weather as they get over the first of the 15. They're all safely over at the Grey Varsity Lord. The back marker, but opulence for Leon Van Rensburg in the early lead. A short run to the second of the 15, which they all get over okay. One or two on tidy jumps, but they're sorting themselves out now. Those two first fences caught up pretty quickly. They've got 13 more to negotiate in the 15 furlongs they've still got to race. So it's the greatest knight who's come through to take it up then now and has gone a good three and a half lengths clear. Of Island of Plenty on the inside in second for Paul Rhodes. Then comes to Dare is to do in third. With Opulence and Tiger Moth stitching time is next, then Forgotten next and Mujahid Isaacs and towards the back. Game Venture and Fight the Power just the back two down this near side right as they get over to third. Looks they're all safely to the other side of. And the Greatest Knight continues to bowl along in the lead. Skipping over number four, which again, all over safely, although they wanted to in mid pack or a little bit untidy. The Greatest Knight is setting a pretty good pace as they get over the fifth, which they're all again over. And racing up past the stand now, they've got a complete circuit off the track to go. And this is the sixth, will be the last on the next circuit. And the Greatest Knight. Is now probably five or six clear as they pass that wooden post with a circuit to go. Mujahid Isaacs has moved through in a second in the green and yellow quarters. Then on the white outside, Dream of Glory in the purple. The purple and white stripes have forgotten next to next. Then Tiger Moth with the red sleeves. And behind that one, Concello Squirt and the turquoise and maroon hoops. To dare is to do on the inside in the black and red hoops of Joshua Sutherland. I'm just moving wide on the track there. It was Graham Clitterbuck's second colours opulence. Sorry, not opulence. Opulence is um, Leon van Rensburg. So also on the inside, stitching time is the Graham Clutter. But what does they get over number seven? I mean, I have plenty is now dropped to the back and forgotten. Next is suddenly dropping through the field pretty dramatically as well. Mistake by Consuelo Skirt, just as it was coming through to challenge for the lead. But Dream of Glory has now gone on the outside. Over the ninth was the big ditch. They're all still on their feet. You've forgotten next and Varsity Lord out the back, but his dream of glory is now being joined by Tiger Moth, and Tiger Moth jumps into the lead there and has now gone too clear. So it's Tiger Moth from Opulence, and to dare is to do over the 11th they go. One or two good jumps there on the outside, a good jump by Fight the Power Crank Beck with them, and a good start to the season. Three big winners last week. They're looking to kick off week two in the same way as he signed out week one. But it's Tiger Moth in the lead by about a length to to dare is to do an opulence and then fight the power. Island of Plenty, the stable companion to the leader, is coming through to challenge. Dream of Glory being switched round the outside. Can Swallow Skirt is looking for racing room. Game Venture and Stitching Time Grinder Runner. I think we can probably forget the back four. But it's Tiger Moth who comes to the fourth last and gets over it in the lead. Joined and passed by Stablemate. Island of Plenty, opulence between the two of them. Then comes Dream of Glory on the outside and then Fight the Power to Dare is to do his next as they get over that 13th. There's just two more to take now then. And Island of Plenty is in front. Island of Plenty with their queue up behind a challenge over the second last they go. Island of Plenty is in front. Opulence on the inside. Here comes Fight the Power and wide on the track. Game Venture is now running as well. They're coming down towards his final fence. It's a short run in. Island of plenty landed in the lane and he's getting away from it nicely. He's still two lengths clear. They're not going to catch him. He takes it nicely up in the second fight. Like power field and dream of glory and Tiger Moth to the area to do and can swallow skirt. And a forgotten next was probably just the last one to finish. But it's Island of Plenty that takes it for Paul Rhodes. And a quiet start of the season, Paul Rhodes, but he started with two. Okay. With a win. Island of Plenty for Paul Rhodes. The winner. Opulence Leon van Rensburg second. Fight the power, Craig Beck with third, Dream of Glory, David Hooley fourth, and Tiger Moth for the winning trainer was fifth.